So, Money Mendez, you've spent, what, collectively two minutes in the cage in your last few fights? What's up with that? Hey, I mean, if I can keep it that way every fight, I'm going to do it. It's, it just feels good, you know, busting your butt throughout a whole camp. That was three camps back to back to back with me. Um, you know, opponents falling out, you know, people getting hurt, whatever's happening, and, you know, couldn't find opponents to fill in. And so I just kept training, kept training, kept training. So my hat's off to Elkins. The guy's a tough guy. I took that on four weeks' notice. Um, you know, I, I'm going to go have a beer with the guy right now. So. Let's talk about that frustration, though, because it's got to be difficult to be training for somebody, have it pull out and over and over again. So how, how frustrated were you? Uh, it's real frustrating. I mean, you train for a certain style, a certain guy. You go, you know, eight, ten weeks, however long your camp is. Uh, you know, one of, the, one of the fights was a week before the fight the guy got injured. So they were actually in, in Australia. I was actually able to find a new guy. Uh, but it was like a, a week of trying to find videos on the guy, trying to see what he does, um, you know, and kind of putting something together on the flight to Australia. Uh, then going through a whole camp after that, about to fight Manny Gambirian, two weeks out, nothing. Uh, so that actually got bumped to this card. Uh, supposed to fight Clay Guida, you know, a few weeks into the camp, that changed too. So uh, it, it's pretty frustrating, but um, I guess that's all part of the game. For me, I just got to focus on things that I can control, uh, you know, and and uh, get in there, train as hard as I can, and, and make it to the fight, make sure I don't get injured and get in there and do what I do best, and that's a win. So uh, it's just that's what it's all about. Now, that being said, some of these people were not who you were intended to fight. You were still making the you know, motions that you need the strap around your waist. So do you think you've done enough to get a title fight again with Aldo? I mean, I think so, but I mean, ultimately, that's up to the UFC. Um, you know, I think I'm the number one contender. Uh, you know, we got some tough guys in the division, but, you know, I feel like I could beat them. Um, but like I said, that's up to the UFC. I'd like to fight for that title sooner than later, so. What have you done differently to prepare for Aldo in the case that you do get him? I mean, obviously <clears throat> he's got uh, Pettis coming up this summer, but what have you done differently to ensure uh, that the second time would be different? I mean, I, I saw the mistake that I made, um, you know, it was short time and, you know, we've worked on it and I've, I've made a conscious decision in my mind to not do that when I'm sparring and uh, when I'm training. So. Um, you know, overall, I thought I was winning the first round. I just made a mistake right at the end. And, um, you know, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to train like I do for every fight. You know, Aldo is, is evolving just like I'm evolving. Um, you know, every camp's going to have to be a little bit different. But, um, you know, overall, I'm going to stick to what I do best. And you know, we got Dwayne Ludwig in there. We got, you know, I think that was the, the missing puzzle piece for our team, you know, just coming up short for those title shots. And, you know, now that he's in there, I mean, we've been killing it. And, you know, it's, it's, it's helped our team out tremendously. So I'm, I'm pumped. And Ryan was joking just a little while ago, you guys are making him look really, really good. <laughs> I mean, is, is he really that, that piece that, that's going to take you guys to the top? Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a huge, huge asset for our team. I mean, he's a great coach, great person. You know, it's, it, the system that he has is something that we just lacked. You know, we never had the head coach, you know, someone that is, is as passionate as he is about the sport, about teaching, about us learning. Um, you know, and, and that, I think that's huge for any type of sport. Um, you know, we didn't have that. Now we do. And I mean, like I said, I think that was the missing puzzle piece. And I mean, it's been showing. So I believe uh, Team Alpha Male Fighters are undefeated in the cage in 2013. And yep. coincidentally, <laughs> Dwayne's brought in. How much of a, you know, a factor is that momentum when the whole team's clicking? You guys are all training together. We talked about peaking together. Uriah was last week. You mm -hmm. three were on this card. Just talk about that in the training camp <clears> and the, I guess the momentum. The momentum's huge. I mean, it's always great when your teammates, your friends, you know, your your family is doing well in a sport. You know, especially it's the same one that you're competing in, also. Um, uh, and like I said, Dwayne has a system that we've all believed in and we've all bought into, and I think that's huge. I mean, if you have a coach there that nobody really believes in, uh, you know, he's telling you things that you know you kind of just shrug off. Um, I mean, I think that's going to show when you actually step in there and, and compete. Um, you know, and we all bought into a system. We all believe in him. We trust in the stuff that he's teaching us. It's, it's going to work. And, um, you know, his, his style is great for us because he doesn't have a cut and dry style. You know, he sees how our body styles are, you know, what works for us because everybody's different and uh, goes off that. I mean, he doesn't say this is how you do it and it's wrong if you don't do it that way, you know. And um, I think that is probably one of the, the biggest things that's really helped our team. And he was one of those guys at the lighter weights that carried power. And now is he kind of uh, uh, 
What type of things is he passing <clears throat> off to you guys as you guys are finishing fights first round, first round, first round? Oh, I mean, he's definitely worked on our power. There's definitely ways to throw punches that, you know, we didn't do uh, in the past. And, you know, I mean, I think it's been shown in the octagon. And um, I'm obviously not going to give the secrets away, but there's, yeah, definitely care to some secret. <laughs> yeah. there's definitely some stuff we've fixed. And uh, like I said, mm -hmm. it's showed. So three <clears throat> fights in a row, you might get a title shot. Uh, if you do, it's going to take a while. It's going to be a while for three months, four mm -hmm. months. Will you be willing to take another fight before that? Uh, I mean, obviously, I hate sitting on the shelf. I mean, I like fighting. I like competing. But, I mean, I want that title shot. I want a, I want a chance to get in there and fight him again, Wh whether it's, you know, whoever has the belt. I just want that belt. Um, you know, that's the ultimate goal in the sport. I'm, I'm working hard every day. Uh, I've worked hard my whole life, uh, you know, to do this. So this is what I, w I feel like I was born to do, and uh, I want that belt. So I, I would wait. Anything else? Good. It's good. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.